Hello. Are you being treated like you're not good enough? Do you feel like you're being treated as if you're not good enough? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you a few tips, a few things that you can do when you're dealing with people that make you feel like you're not good enough. The first thing to understand is that people are doing the best they can. The people who are treating you like not good enough are not bad people. They are living by the law of human nature, which is people don't do what they don't see a benefit in doing. And you also have to remember that perception is projection, meaning that people have their own internal representations. They have defined their own goals and standards, and they operate by these. So let's imagine that your own perceptions, your goals, your style does not fit within their description. They'll treat you lower. They will think they'll treat you like you're not good enough. And actually, the thought that you're not good enough is your own perception. Because if they reject you, it only means that you have not fit into their description. It doesn't make you less of who you are. So you cannot carry that perception along and redefine your awesome self that you're not good enough. You are good enough. We are good enough. I have been treated by so many people in um, a less, in a less nice way, you know. <laughs> They've treated me in a way that would otherwise make me feel like I'm not good enough. But I go back to the drawing point and follow the steps that I'm going to share with you. When I relate to people, it doesn't matter who it is, a job, connections, whatever. When I start feeling that somebody is not respecting my own standards, my own perception, if they are trying to put me down and I start feeling that, it only means that I have to respect my feelings. Many times, the, mo the, the reason why we get hurt is because we don't respect our feelings. When you are in an environmental relationship that makes you feel like you're not good enough, remember the word feel, respect your feelings. Don't push, don't hang on, don't try to redefine your own self, to redefine your own standards to fit in. Because once you do, you will lose yourself. And once you lose yourself, you'll be a very, very miserable person. And I know there are so many inspirational gurus that I have, I have preached that you have to focus on the price. You can't give up. That is amazing. Focusing on the price means that you have a goal in mind, but you're flexible into identifying other healthy ways to get to your goal. It doesn't mean that once you see one route, you hold on to that as a matter of, of life and death. And that by the time you get your goal, you're shattered. This is a feelings world. The idea is to feel good all the time. If you're not feeling good about something, walk away. It doesn't matter what type of relationship it is. If it's a job and you feel like you're giving it your all and the people you're working with are not feel, treating you well enough, quit. Because the amount of trauma and emotions that you will have to deal with once you leave that job are not worth it, that amount of paycheck. We are created in an abundant world. Where, excuse me, if one thing, if that, if one opportunity goes, another uh, shows up. You know, my mother used to tell me that if your plate is empty, God will always find your right bread. Don't think that just because somebody, if if it's a tray of of loaves of loaves of bread, let's imagine a tray of loaves of bread, equating them to opportunities, and everybody comes and grabs all the all the all the loaves of bread, and you remain with nothing. Remember that your God, the universe, will never leave your plate empty. Before you know it, there will be another loaf of bread on your plate, and the right loaf of bread. So step number one, remember that this is a feelings world. Step number two, know that people are doing the best they can. Projection, perception is projection. Step number three, when you feel like you're not being treated good enough, go within and redefine your own standards and hold on to that. Don't push, don't stretch, don't stretch beyond your... It's good to stretch you beyond your comfort zone. But if you realize that as you stretch, you're feeling uncomfortable and it's encroaching on your own standards and boundaries, drop that and try something else. Step number five, don't you, uh, four, five, don't you dare give up. Keep trying, keep moving and know that this is an abundant world. And if one road closes, another will. 
open don't allow yourself to be abused it doesn't matter what type of relationship you're in run if it's a marriage if you're not being treated the way you want to move if it's a job quit if it's a, a partnership don't wait to be engrossed and embraced with all these negative emotions that will affect you in ways that you've never imagined so i hope this helps i know it will i wish you amazing holy and amazing holiday season season and if you want to read a good book that will really help you redefine your standards up you up you know make you feel like you who you really are an amazing incredible person check out my book do not force it tap the good the links are included included below sending you god's love and light have a blessed day